Boris Johnson is currently in the process of passing his withdrawal agreement bill through Parliament before the end of January. One part of this bill is a very controversial change related to child refugees. In this video we're going to discuss what Johnson's withdrawal agreement says about refugees and how MPs voted on the issue yesterday. So before we get into the vote that was held last night, we need to rewind a little. Last October, Johnson unveiled his withdrawal agreement bill and presented it to the House of Commons. When things didn't go to plan, he withdrew the bill and instead decided to call a general election instead. After the election, Johnson found himself with a huge majority and suddenly didn't need some of the compromises which were added to the bill to get opposition MPs to support it. With a conservative majority, he didn't need to appease opposition MPs, so the second version of his bill removed a number of these so-called sweeteners. We've identified six of these sweeteners which were removed from the bill when Johnson returned with his electoral victory. In this video, we're just going to talk about the child refugee policy, but we'll cover all six in a video later this week. According to the original October version of the withdrawal agreement, any unaccompanied child seeking asylum in the EU who has relatives in the UK has to be taken in by the UK. This is a standard protocol within the EU. If an asylum seeking child has relatives in a specific country, the child should be sent to join their family there. Last year about 400 children came to the UK this way. Anyway, the new December withdrawal agreement bill relieves the UK of their obligations in this respect. No longer does it say that the UK will admit child refugees who already have family in the country. Instead, saying that the UK will decide on its own child asylum policy and make a relevant policy statement within two months, basically before April. Labour immediately responded to this move, with Keir Starmer, Labour's shadow Brexit secretary, and Labour Lord Dubbs writing a letter to Conservative MPs. They wrote... We know that there are many Conservative MPs, including some of those sat round the cabinet table, who know this decision was wrong. Boris Johnson may have won a majority in Parliament, but he did not win the moral argument to absolve himself of responsibility to some of the most vulnerable people in the world. With the numbers in Parliament being what they are, it's up to you, Conservative MPs, to take a moral stance and force the government to rethink its approach on this vital issue. As you probably already gauged, removing the child refugee protections was a controversial move. So as part of the common scrutiny of the bill, MPs voted on an amendment which would have reinstated the protections in the bill. Labour were the ones proposing the amendment, so their shadow Brexit minister, Thangam Debonair, argued in favour of it. Now turning to child refugees, um, the government's clause 37 of this version of the withdrawal agreement bill is an astonishing breach of faith with some of the most vulnerable children in the world and our amendment 4 seeks to restore that faith. And this is about who we want to be as a country and who, how we want to be seen, who we are and actually who I believe the British people already are. Members opposite will know there is no mandate for this change in their general election manifesto. It was not contained in any statement of support for the withdrawal agreement that I'm aware of, though they're welcome to contradict me. It is deeply wrong for the government to seek to remove this provision to protect vulnerable children just because they can. I know that their constituents will be shocked by this breach of trust between the people of this country who, no matter who they voted for in December, they believe that a protection of vulnerable children is part of who we are as a country. Brexit or no Brexit, that's who we are. I believe that the Minister is an honourable man and perhaps he will speak to remedy this breach of faith and not put his MPs in an awkward position and not object to our amendment when we put it to the vote and we shall see. The Conservatives aren't saying that they won't let child refugees into the country. In fact, Johnson's press secretary said that the provisions set out in the amendment would remain government policy. However, what they are doing is insisting that the amendment shouldn't become law. Back to the Commons, and on the Conservatives' side of the House, Northern Ireland Minister Robin Walker told the Commons that while the government were committed to family reunification, they didn't want to see it passed into law. Now, on the, the, the important question um, of child refugees, which the Honourable Lady um, spoke about at, at length and, and, and with commendable passion, uh, this Government is fully committed both to the principle of family reunion and to supporting the most vulnerable uh, children. Our policy has not changed, and uh, to, uh, although she said um, that she had heard no whisper uh, of negotiations, I can confirm that the Home Secretary wrote to the Commission on the 22nd of October to start negotiations with the European Union on future uh, uh, arrangements. We will also continue to reunite children with their families under the Dublin regulation during uh, the implementation uh, period. A very strong support um, on these benches uh, for the principle um, of family uh, reunion. Give way to my honourable friend. So the Commons voted on the matter and it went as follows. 
The eyes to the right, 252. The nose to the left, 348. So the nose have it. The nose have it. Unlock. As you saw, the amendment failed by a fairly significant margin, with Conservatives backing the government's bill. This is something you can expect to see a lot more of in the coming weeks, months and years. Before the election, no party had a majority in the House of Commons, so getting anything done required compromise and negotiation, something which often faltered, resulting in little actually getting done. Now, for better or worse, the Conservatives' majority means that they're able to push through pretty much anything they want, as long as their own party MPs support it. Ultimately, though, the Conservatives' majority means that this amendment failed, alongside all of the other amendments which were tabled in the Commons. This means that the Withdrawal Agreement Bill progresses without any amendments, including the provision for child refugees. The bill will continue its way through the House of Commons today, before heading to the House of Lords. It's not expected to struggle in either house, and it's expected to pass into law before the deadline at the end of the month. What do you think of this issue though? Do you think that the UK should be letting in refugees, and specifically child refugees? Do you think that the UK's parliament is functioning better now that a clear majority has been returned? You can of course let us know in the comments as always, but we also have a relatively new Discord server, where you can debate issues like this with community members and with the TLDR team. If you want to join the server then click the link in the description. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more updates on the Brexit process and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release the video about the other changes Johnson's made to the withdrawal agreement. You can also find us across all social networks simply by searching for TLDR News.